uh, now we're going to pour our soap. So um, each loaf in this mold, there are three loaves, but each one can hold five and a half pounds of oils um, for soap for your recipe. And it, you can buy separately these dividers, which I really liked as an option. Um, so for the first pour, we're gonna be filling in two of these loaves today. So for the first one, we're keeping it basic. We're going to use three colors, all orange in the center, all the white batter on one side, and then we'll use charcoal for the black in the third one. And so as I pour, I just try to pour like a little bit in each one. So uh, just to keep it even in case like one of the dividers were to leak or whatever, it won't push out so much. I don't really have to worry about that too much with these dividers because they're pretty uh, uh, solid. Um, it's not like when I would use uh, cardboard dividers because I use I, I do use cardboard dividers in some of my other molds where I didn't have the luxury of ordering custom uh, dividers. So uh, this makes it relatively easy. So again, just filling in the three basic colors as shown. And now using a wooden spoon handle, I'm just doing figure eights. And I realized that I could only do figure eights going in one direction as opposed to going in the other direction. Um, and even then, I'm, you'll see me kind of like mess up and forget what part of the eight I was on. Um, so just do figure eights from one side of the mold to the other, trying to get all three colors kind of flowing and moving. Um, so in the soap, uh, it's orange and patchouli essential oils that I'm using, which, which um, behave usually very well in soap, it, and it makes it easy for swirling. So for our second loaf tonight, you'll notice that the dividers are a little bit different than the first loaf. Um, there's a wider uh, width in the middle, and then there are two narrow, narrower ones within the on the edge. And that's kind of why I like these dividers, because you can do them and set them up differently for different widths or different um, dividers. You could put one, you can put two, or you could put three, I think. Um, so I like that option. So for the center, and we're using blue on this one, the indigo. So on the center one, in the wider one, I'm doing mostly orange with a little bit of blue and just a little bit of white for distinction, but primarily orange and blue and just pouring it alternatingly. On the sides, we're doing no orange. We're doing black, white, and a little bit of blue. So you just alternate your pours as best you can. It is hard to keep it um, clean, but just do the best that you can. And I am working with a larger amount of soap batter, so it did require a lot of time and here I am just mixing up a little bit more orange that I was running out of. That was my paprika infusion. So we're like 40 minutes into the soap making process and my soap batter is still nice and fluid. I mean, slightly thick, but still definitely workable and definitely swirlable.
Now we're going to be doing the figure eights again on this loaf of soap, but instead of going from all the way from one side to another side, we're going to be stopping um, like halfway in. So you'll see I'll only go halfway to the orange and back, and halfway to the orange and back, and then I'll do that on the other side as well. Just do your figure eights uh, as best you can, or as coordinated as you can get it. And now we'll just do the, the figure eights on the other side. Going only again from one side to halfway through the middle orange layer. It's now time to cut this soap. Um, so each loaf I'm going to be cutting into nine slabs and then each of that slab I'm going to cut into three bars of soap. So you need to cut it on the horizontal layer to get the pattern. And the indigo is really pretty. Uh, it's like a, a light teal in color and generally it is brighter when you cut it and it does fade a little bit but it still remains a a very pretty kind of grayish tealish blue that I that added a little bit of color popping to the soap itself which I you know, I love color and popping in my soap so anyway so this is this next uh, loaf that I'm cutting I'll cut the same way this was the, just the basic uh, three color mantra swirl so again cut it into nine slabs or nine blocks and then I'll cut each of those blocks horizontally to create three bars out of each uh, each block 